And good afternoon, good morning, I should say. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Brooklyn Borough Championships. It's been a long season. It's been a long stretch for these couple of weeks of the Borough Playoffs, but we're here now, and it's between number one, Eagle Academy Brooklyn, and number two, and defending Borough Champ, Brooklyn Borough Champion, South Shore. So here on the mic is Andre Johnson, creator and owner of Sage Media Solutions. I hope everyone enjoyed the pregame show. You know, it was our first time doing it. it. had some audio issues at first, but we got that figured out. So I really hope you guys were able to enjoy the show. And of course, I am not alone because I am here with the voice of Eagle Academy, none other than Mr. Greg Folius. Good morning, Mr. Johnson. Ready for a good day of basketball? I'm ready for... A good day, and I'm here. I'm here all day. If you guys don't hear me, don't worry. I'll, I'm still here doing something. <laughs> and I mean, what we really have here is a, a intense rivalry matchup, going back to the Borough matchup two years ago. Yep. And we're coming in hot. We're getting ready to go, Greg. South Shore Eagle, is it? Is it Bulls Jazz? Is that kind of rivalry? I mean, if it's not approaching, if it's not there already, it's approaching that. That's what it's coming to. It seems like whenever we come to this juncture of the season, these two are guaranteed to meet at some point. Doc controls the tip. Eagle in their home whites with South Shore in their road blacks. Jojo has it on the wing, turns. Crosses over. Jakai in the paint. Drop pass to JoJo. Great look from Jakai to JoJo down low. And that's just not a surprise. JoJo is absolutely a class of 2025. He's been one of the best players in the whole city. And he's showing it today. And with JoJo's increased presence in the paint the last couple weeks, it's going to be huge. And here's Doc, the freshman perimeter defender. That's going to be a foul away from the ball. And you see the energy from the, the Eagles. Eagles trying to make Queens College the Eagles nest, Greg. <laughs> I love it. Oh, wow, this gym started filled up pretty pretty quickly. Oh, wait till second half. Jakai guarded by Guzman coming down the court. Doc on the wing. Guarded by Sincere Folk. Uh, Jakai gets his rebound after the Aaron pass. Greg, that's not, a, that's, that's not a rebound, Greg. Oh, well, it, it is a rebound. Yes, it it is. Is the rim. It You're the right. Rim. See? I'm paying attention. <laughs> hey. Hey, Jakai, we see what you do. You're padding stats here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Averaging Jakai. one with a triple-double. Stops and pops at the foul line. Can't hit. Uh, Johnny gets the offensive rebound. Get it out to Georgia for three. Short. That's Elson with the rebound. Guzman pushing the pace. Gets across the timeline. Folk, the leading assist man for South Shore, gets in the paint. Thought he stopped the dribble there. Good closeout right there by Eagle. Doc facing up on Kearney. Almost loses it. And there's Doc in the passing lane. Can't finish. I that a closeout right there by Jameer Brewer. And I was just about to say, and, that, and that's hustle. He came from end to end to get that block. Kearney stops and pops and gets the shooter's touch. And I think that's going to be big for Kevin, you know. He's, he needs to get in rhythm. I like South Shore and Smoke going to him early. JoJo on the block. Fleming, he's blocked. By Elson. It's stolen by Jojo around the back. Euro, and that's pinned to the backboard by Kearney. Wow. Hustle all over the court from both Stop. teams. Pass it up. Takes the teardrop. Can't hit. Jojo with the offensive rebound. Turns. And Manuk gets the two-hand flush with the follow. Well, we cover Eagle Academy pretty regularly. We've seen that a few times. Just, just a tad. <laughs> but, 
But look at the hustle and the, the tenacity from JoJo. As Johnny getting rebounds. But also look at the hustle from, uh-oh. But look at the hustle from Kevin Kearney. He's been very active early in this game. That, that's something to watch for. The size of South Shore with the blocks. Elson for three. And he can hit that. Asher Elson, the leading scorer. The leading scorer at 16 for South Shore. If he can get going, that's going to be huge for the Vikings. Boom! Fleming with the quick trigger from the corner. Johnny says, listen, man, anything you can do, you know, you know I got the quick trigger. I can pull it, too. I don't know if you just saw that, but something to watch for, the South Shore guards with the forearm push-off. Guzman for three. And he hits, he answers, and blows a kiss to the Eagle bench. There's no shortage of smack talk on the court right now. <laughs> and, and South Shore isn't a very, they don't shoot a high volume of three-pointers. You see they already have two this early. Guzman in Jakai's kitchen. No, oh, I was going to say, I thought there was no foul call. So high intensity, of course, South Shore with a lot to prove. You know, they they fell to Jefferson in the last game. There were some issues on or off the court, not exactly sure. Jefferson, unfortunately, had to forfeit that game. You never really want to see that happen, especially, you know, these young men, especially over there at Jefferson, work very, very hard, and they grinded for that win on the road so i'm sure they're hurting but you know we gotta you know everyone has to follow the rules and it's the psl's job to enforce them unfortunately i mean the the, the good thing is jefferson is down but they're not out absolutely right? that's a great point you know they're gonna have an opportunity they're probably gonna get a top five seed absolutely so i think they're gonna they're gonna be coming back for with uh with vengeance and jakai misses two at the line and eagle last couple games Early, not necessarily late, but early had free throw issues. And there's Manuk on the top of the press causing issues. And there, I, I am highly critical of that foul there from Ajani. You know, Ajani has been inserted into the starting lineup in this playoff run. Early fouls is going to kill them, especially even in the matchup last year. You know, I almost feel like every South Shore matchup comes down to free throws. Like, somehow <laughs> South Shore always ends up at the line. It's probably because they play so physical. So these early tic-tac fouls, 60 feet away from the hoop, that's no good. And something I want to go back to is South Shore already has three or four, four blocks. And is Eagle going to start, you know, using a pump fake? Easy rebound right there. And Ja'Kai is going to get... The foul right there. Brewer's going to go to line shooting too. That can't happen where Eagle has nobody in the paint yep. to grab a rebound. No, you're absolutely right. So we have Ajani on a foul already. We have Jakai on a foul. You know, Eagle has to be very careful with these early fouls. But that's credit to South Shore. And let's see if South Shore can make them pay from the line. Sinks the first. Oh, is that foul on Manuk? Foul was on, on Ja'Kai. I'm uh, pretty sure it was on Ja'Kai. Chase checks in for the first time today. But, yeah, South Shore definitely has a lot to prove. A lot of people might be saying, hey, you guys don't deserve to be here. But you know what? You get South Shore, they're here. And they got well, the other part of that is South Shore wants revenge for that early season matchup. Because remember, the new alignment, they only played Eagle one time. Absolutely. So it was almost like the, the God said that they Easily have to be twice. For three. Short. Brew with the rebound. It's going to be really important for Chase to get good minutes off the bench. Folk gets in the lane. Euro. Good finish right there on JoJo. Timeout, Eagle. Fantastic Euro from Sincere Folk. And, Greg, we got to talk about this. They're attacking the young freshman. Trying to see if he's ready for this stage. Absolutely. I think that was the case that he, because the previous possession, he stayed in front of him very well. Mm -hmm. But it's like, we're going to pick our spots, see where we catch you off balance, and take it to the rim. And try to get your bigs in foul trouble. No, oh, absolutely. And, you know, we, just like you were saying, you see that physical play. Sincere has his hand on um, has his hand on, on Dockery. Trying to see how much he can get, with, get away with. You know, kind of see how much the refs are going to give. Very savvy play from Sincere. 
And, you know, it's a championship game. It's not about it's not about being pretty here. You just want to get the all. win. At all. It's, this is going to be one of those gritty, grinded-out type of games. And I don't care if a team goes up by 15 early. The game is not over. Absolutely. Especially with these two teams. You know, I always like to say these two teams. I would say South Shore is Michael Myers. <laughs> and the way Eagle – Eagle, have they had to come from behind in any games this year? They have, um, but it, has, it hasn't been that many. I think it was mostly like non-league games. Yeah, uh, maybe not. I, I can't think of a game in Brooklyn they had to come back well, from Well, Canarsie, they came back a little bit. I'm talking it, about like in the, in the fourth quarter. I don't think I'm Eagle not. has been trailing in any fourth quarter in Brooklyn this year. Doc, pass up the three. Chicago gets the offensive rebound. Gets it out to JoJo. Turns. Chicago for three from the corner. And he gets the roll. And Eagle will take the shooter's touch. You know, that was that, that's growth from you. You said he gets the roll, but he doesn't get the boom. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what to do when it goes off the rim. You don't. It, it's always an in-between moment. Kearney in the corner. Has Brewer with the rebound. Blocked behind by JoJo. And Kearney gets the follow. Goes down as an assist for Brewer right there. I am absolutely loving the play of Mr. Kearney today. He's already at four points. He has two blocks already. He's crashing the boards. I'm liking how South Shore is looking. It's going to be a double dribble. Doc, Doc is pleading to the ref that uh, folk hit the ball. He may have a case there. I see. I mean, I, I didn't think it was a double dribble, but, you know, we got to go with the ref. But, you know, Doc is always going to be in attack mode. He's not going to let that phase him. Brewer gets doubled immediately. So Ahmed is coming in trying to add some more size to the Eagle front line. Setting up the offense for the top of the key. Guarded by Beasley. Gets in the lane. And that's going to be Eagle ball. As Asher Elson couldn't quite come up with it. One thing Elson I'm is lanky, man. He's just limbs flying all over the place. Hey, he's, he's one of the top in, in the class of 2025. I'm sure he'll be very highly recruited. South Shore starting with the press a lot earlier than they have over the years. That's a poor look right there inside. From Jakai, I understood what he was doing, what he was trying to do, but the length of South Shore in that press is too much. Hey, if Eagle have the number one press in the in the league, South Shore absolutely has the number two press. So let's see who can break it the best. Folk pressured by Sanders. Gets the Brewer screen. That's the switch he wanted on a med. And he Woo! gets the finish in the paint. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm going to let the in-court the in court commentator handle that. That was some <laughs> razzle-dazzle. Woo! Sincere folk in attack mode. He has four. Very balanced attack for the Vikings. Up six early. The guy gets in the paint, and he's fouled. And he, here, we, here we see Mr. Big Shot himself checking in for the first time. Eddie Munyak. For Mayor Dockery. And in the matchup last year, I'm pretty sure Eddie, and that was in the city semifinals in this same gym, Eddie had about five or six three pointers. Eddie still kind of getting warmed off of his off his injury. Let's see if he can make an impact. Have sincere folk on him to start off. Georgia gets the ball. Guarded by Brewer. Uses the screen. Jakai takes it to the lane. Elson travels. Kai's still on the ground. I think he's okay, though. Wait, did, was that an injury whistle or was that a travel? Because Elson definitely traveled. I think Eagle has the ball. Okay, yeah, Eagle yeah. does have the ball. That was a travel. But, yeah, Jakai, Jakai can't get discouraged. He has to stay aggressive. Beautiful <laughs> up and under move right there on the inbound pass from Beasley. <laughs> Guys, so I – oh. End-to-end action. 
I thought he got all ball right there. Guys, if you didn't know, you know, we had the pregame show. I had Cha-Ching mic'd up. I, I gave the, the mic right to – I have Ja'Kai wired up. He can hear me up here. I told him to stay aggressive. He gets right to the 10 immediately. <laughs> Oh, look, look at Sage Media branching out, having players mic'd up. What? I'm joking, Greg. I don't have them mic'd up. It's I mean, a championship just run, game, just Greg. Run with me. Run with me. <laughs> Jeez, man. But, but, on the other side of that, something to look into. Listen, man. Thanks, <laughs> yeah. Greg. First, you, you come on. You come on here. You're talking about when we had the the House of Wings. You're talking about your sauce. Now you're gonna have everyone asking me to to mic people up in hey, the Sage hey, Media hey. DM. I have I have some background in marketing. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, clearly, <laughs> self marketing. <laughs> me, the mic the mic would be for the brand, not me. <laughs> I would have fun with it though. <laughs> Brewer connects with two, for, uh, with two at the line. Guzman's assignment is clearly Sanders, and he's up for the task right now as he guards him full court. Sanders gets to Eddie for three. Boom! Do you think he has something to prove Unfor- tonight? Unfor- Eddie Munyak. Oh, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie doesn't say much in school, but when it comes to matches about South Shore, you can see it in his eyes. It's just different. Listen, I'm going to give you guys a little insider scoop. I was talking to Mr. Munyak the other day, and I was saying, you know, this was in about when the playoffs had just started in the quarterfinals. I'm like, yo, like, who do you want to see in the finals? And he said, you know. I want to see South Shore, and honestly, I feel like I still, even though we beat them in the semifinals last year, I, know I still feel that pain from 2022 in the Barclays. I feel like we've got to get them back. I mean, when you're an athlete, then you have those crushing losses. They never leave you, ever. Listen, I still remember my CYO losses, man. <laughs> no, no, but but that just tells you, like, the mentality of Eddie, you know? Absolutely. And, He's someone with very strong mentals. He's been injured for a large portion of his senior year. He's already back, ready to shoot. Talk about ready to shoot. That's JoJo drawing a foul. JoJo with a little shake and bake step back. Jimmy right there. He's going to go to the line shooting two on a foul. That foul was on number 21, Shamari Mitchell, who recently checked in for South Shore. JoJo connects on the first. So right now, the leading scorer for Eagle Academy is Ja'Kai Sanders with five. And on the other side, Asher Elson with five. And right behind him, he has to see folk and Kearney with four. JoJo on the season averaging 10 points and 18 rebounds. Folk throws up a prayer, and after one, 18-16, South Shore's up by two at the end of one. What did you see there in the first quarter? Man, I see a South Shore team with a lot on their back. I feel like when the news came last night that they were going to play, I'm sure hit Coach Smoke got everybody in the room. They look focused, locked in. You know, South Shore, they had, everyone knows about the, the size of their front court, but if you look at their rebounding numbers, you know, Asher – only with five rebounds, averaging five rebounds. Um, you have Kevin only averaging four rebounds. But you see they're attacking the paint. They're blocking. High motor stuff from South Shore. How are the defending city champions going to react? So the one thing I think, down six at one point, they didn't panic. They stayed within their offense. I will they say ran it, their sets. it helps when you have Eddie Munyak coming off the bench. It, it does help <laughs> when you have the best shooter in the city coming off the bench. Absolutely. Um, but I think as long as they don't panic, they don't start chucking up shots early in the shot clock, they run through their sets, they're going to get those easy looks. And JoJo's going to be huge on the board. You would think, we, we asked early in the season, the loss of Trey Shep to LIU, how is that going to affect the rebound? And JoJo really has stepped in here and made it seem like there's there's no need for a trace ship. Well, on the boards. well, you, when you add 18 rebounds, <laughs> average 18 rebounds being the leading the leading rebounder in Brooklyn, number three in the whole PSAL. I mean, that's just tremendous stuff. Sex, second quarter action starts. Folk guarded by Munyak at the top of the key. 
Gets the Elson on the wing. Eagle in the 2-3 zone. That's going to be a... That's going to be a foul on number 10, Christian Etienne. South Shore in their press. Etienne guarding Sanders. Jakai directing traffic. Gets the screen from Manuk. Gets in the paint. Gets to the Beasley in the corner. And it's blocked and fouled. Beasley's going to go to the line to shoot three. And that's where the pump fake will come in handy for Chase. He, he, he pass faked on his previous three attempt on this one, give even a head fake, and Kearney will go flying and he'll have an open look. And, hey, and we'll see if, if, if Chase can get going from the line here, can give Eagle the lead. Connect on the first. You know something that I haven't seen any other, with any other PSL team? Eagle has five players averaging double figures. That's very rare to see in PSL basketball. It's rare to see in PSL basketball, but it's not rare to see in a Kevin Hamilton coach team. Very true. And Chase Beasley being one of those players and well-rounded as he's averaging 11 points, five rebounds, and three assists a game on the season. Chase does a great job tying the game up. I got, I got a feeling I'm going to say that quite a few times today. <laughs> this is going to be a seesaw affair. Absolutely. I wish there were still seesaws in playgrounds. Elson guarded by Manuk. It's a great matchup right here. Just pure athleticism on athleticism. Jojo in the corner guarding Brewer. Folk resetting the offense. Looking to get in the paint. Steps back. Good job by Munyak. Using the Elson screen as Jago Robinson. Folk from deep. That's an air ball. That's great defensive possession right there by Eagle Academy. And I'm sure that's what Coach Kev was telling them in the in the huddle. Like, hey guys, let's pick it up here. We need our this is a Brooklyn Borough Championship on the line. Our energy needs to be up because clearly South Shore is here to play. Beasley on the wing, guarded by Robinson. And he's that's gonna be a travel. Every possession is crucial. Can't be wasting possessions in this high high tier of a matchup. Amir checking in for Chase. Doc checks back in. Eagle look like are they set up in a in a three two in a two three zone right now? Yeah, they it was last possession. They're pretty much daring South Shore to shoot the ball. It's a Etienne. different wrinkle. It is a different wrinkle. At the end for three, and he answers that zone coverage. Then he said, "Oh, oh, you guys want me to shoot? I'll <laughs> say less." South Shore up three, and now guarded Sanders after hitting the three. He's going to stay eagle ball on the, the deflection. So now with Etienne off the bench, I mean, five, four for Kearney, five for Asher, three for Angelo, four for Folk. Very balanced attack from the Vikings so far, getting everybody involved. Jukai calling out the play, gets in the paint. Almost an and one attempt as he Etienne takes the contact. From Jakai and Jakai's gonna go to the line shooting too. Now this is the big problem for South Shore in his matchup, and that's player of the year candidate Jakai Sanders. Now they had Etienne on him there, and that was a blow pass, right? Especially in these highly, hotly contested matchups when you're gonna really need a bucket, and especially if they get into foul trouble right now, the fouls is three. South Shore has three fouls right now as Jakai makes the first. Being in foul trouble with someone like Ja'Kai 
downhill Sanders, <laughs> like, Shout like out Shaq, to Shaq likes to say. Big trouble. Ja'Kai, the leading scorer for the game with seven. I, I like the spacing that Eagle has on the floor with this 5 on offense. And there's a full court press. Surprisingly, Manuk is back and not on the top of the press. Eddie guarded Folk. Gets it at the end. Elson in the corner for three. I think that was deflected. And Eagle has to grab the ball when it's when it's loose like that. Can't allow easy buckets from South Shore on that end of the floor. Jago gets on the board for the first time. Jakai gets in the lane. Pretty move right there from Sanders. Up and down affair right now. Folk gets it to Elson, and he travels. All right, so what, what percentage of the game has Shakai played on the floor? 100%. He hasn't come off the floor. No, no, no. He, uh, what percentage of the game has Shakai been on oh, the floor? On the floor. <laughs> I'm going to go with like 65. I'm going to go with like 65. But that's very true, though. And, and I like how you say that. Shakai has a lot, a lot on his shoulders today. You know, he's someone, he plays 80% of the minutes. This is a hotly contested game. He's Jakai, he's someone who's in, a, in very good shape, you know, being up and down off the floor. It's going to be tough for Jakai, but if anyone could do it, it's going to be him. And Let's you really, treetop. and as a former football player, you really feel it in the fourth quarter, you know, yeah. all those hits and stuff. In the first quarter, first, second quarter, you're fine. But let's, it's going to be a real test on Jakai's conditioning because you know South Shore is going to keep putting him on the floor. And, you know, Jakai is interested to repeat his performance early in the season when he went 21-7-7. Good hands right there by Sanders. That's going to be Eagle Ball. Great defense right there. What was the call there? It's, it was out on... It, it rolled off. Uh, I, I think I forgot who went to the lane, but it rolled off their leg. Okay, you know, I, I, saw, I saw Coach Hamilton reacting. I was, I was kind of confused. I thought he, he got no, the he ball. Was whatever happened on defense he wasn't happy with the rotation that's what i think happened. <laughs> yo that is someone committed to excellence your team gets the ball but the rotation was wrong <laughs> <laughs> look at you shouting out one of the eagle pillars <laughs> etienne garden uh jakai gets it down to jojo pulls it travel and that's exactly what eagle academy wanted too they had jojo on the block by himself one-on-one -on -one. He just couldn't set his feet. Fold. Got it by Eddie. Gets to Elson. JoJo slaps it away. And there's Doc playing the passing lanes. Timeout, South Shore. And they call Doc him. Saw, Doc saw that play happening. Two, I would say maybe two or so passes before it actually happened. Hey, they call him the documentary, you know? Sometimes documentaries have really long intros. You know, it's a freshman. It's 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 a huge stage for him. Had a rocky first quarter. But he's getting back to what we see him doing. And I really, really wish we would have stats for steals. Like, <laughs> I, I know someone keeps it, but it's not public because he has to be averaging, I would say, 2.3 steals a game, and that would probably put him towards the top of the PSAL. I, I think I'll, I'll go as far as say he's averaging three steals a game. Three steals a game? Man, it's tough. It's a lot. But I, I do, and that's not even counting the deflections. They no, should keep point. deflection stats no, like they do in, in the NFL. It, it is getting packed in here. I mean, I, I would expect nothing less. You know, you have two of the premier schools in New York State. Let's be bigger than the city. It's the state these two teams are as big as. South Shore, they won a state championship a few years ago when they went to Lujai and beat Lujai. And you have Eagle Academy, who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Stepanak last year at the States. So these are two highly decorated programs going up against each other today. Good close up by Manuk. Eagle back in that 2 3 zone. Elson guarded by Manuk in the corner. Gets it down low to Brewer. And it's blocked by Manuk. Excellent help defense from Manuk. It's 
going to stay the same way. Coach Kevin looking for a foul call right there. All right, in the second half, I'm going to get, I think I'm going to start a, a Jakai hitting the deck <laughs> counter. It's tremendous, but that also shows, like, the how he is an absolute pure point guard. Everyone's, they're hacking, they're hacking, they're poking and poking. And they rarely rip it from Jakai. Yeah. Who's checking back in? Absolute stud of a point guard. That could have been, um, what you call it? reach around foul on Brewer he has to be careful I, I was definitely looking for the call there I thought it was pretty clear he kind of reached around Jakai's back but I like the mentality from Jakai didn't phase him at all say oh, I see you guys are playing physical look like he gave I him a bro hug <laughs> yeah in the back gets in the paint and just big man moves his way to the goal do you want to play physical? I can do that. Ja'Kai Sanders, leading scorer with 11. That's a very acrobatic catch. I'm not going to lie. It was. In traffic. What was his Madden rate to be? <laughs> <laughs> and the crowd gets into Robinson it. On the offense either. A little, a little volleyball action going on here, and Eagle comes away with the ball. And he's going to be a, tra a travel. That, that, wow. That can't be a travel because he didn't have full possession of the ball. Or am, am I am I seeing that? Greg, right? in the past, I'll, if anyone is, you know, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are tuning in for the first time. And welcome. Please stick around. Subscribe to Sage Media. Uh, uh, but um, I've been seeing that in the past three games. I've seen this. I, I don't know if it's something that the refs are – keying in on on people falling with the ball but I, I can't see how that's a travel if he doesn't have possession of the ball and he got rid of it on top of it Guzman gets in the paint good nice pass. pass right there to Brewer Brewer can't finish Elsa cleans up the mess and he's fouled but it's not going to count so he's going to go line shooting too the size of Eagle, of South Shore with this Eagle lineup in is struggling a bit down low yeah and and, and and that's something I've said before. Asher, he is a leading scorer, 15-5. That five is for five rebounds. At his height, he should probably have more rebounds. But I like where he's at. He's not at the perimeter. He's under the hoop, banging with the bigs. You can see that's a mentality switch. The bench from South Shore definitely got into his head and said, Asher, you're our big ticket. Get involved in all phases of this game. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to the Asher JoJo matchups next year. Oh man, absolutely! If, As if those two splits up here, if those two aren't on every Division One Power Five college's watch list, they're crazy. They're not doing their job. They're not watching Sage Media. <laughs> Doc gets it back, guarded by Folk. Folk in his kitchen gets to Eddie. Down low to JoJo. JoJo. Guarded by Brewer. Pretty move, but couldn't quite finish. Brewer doing a great job defensively right there. Elson in the front court and gets the easy finish. Asher Elson with eight points now. Tie ball game, Greg. Like I said, I feel like I'm going to say that quite a bit today. Absolutely. Fleming checked back in for Eagle. Sets the screen for three. Boom! A Johnny Fleming's impact can never be understated. Wild shot there from Guzman. Every single team in the country needs an Ajani Fleming. Eagle happy they, that he's on. He's wearing the black and white and black. Johnny thought about it. Crossover. Step back. JoJo with the rebound. Doc resetting the offense. Falling for the screen. Real handsy right there. And Ooh. Doc splits the double. Hey, low. Down low. That was a great offensive possession set up by Doc splitting the double team. If you are showing basketball to someone for the first time, you show them that clip. Beautiful possession for Eagle Academy. And that, that was a, uh, that's what I like to call a hockey assist as Johnny got the drop pass to JoJo. And that was all set up by Doc. Folk 
is doing his best job to get to the line. I am very, very impressed with Sincere Folk today, man. I'm really impressed with Sincere Folk today. He is in absolute attack mode, and that's – what are we talking about here? I hope, is, I hope that was just a warning. I don't know. He's going to the table. And I think that's a tech. Is that a tech on Jakai? Yeah. Yep. Double, that's a double technical. Yep. That's, that's going to be big because those are both key players for each team. And I think that's Jakai's second. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Jakai's second. And Brewer's second also. Brewer, as Brewer goes to the bench to have a seat with Shamari Mitchell checking in for him. Coach Kev giving Jakai a piece of his mind, telling him to keep his composure. And just like you said, Jakai is going to play all 32 minutes today. He has to stay out of foul trouble. He has to keep his head composed. Eagle goes as far as Mr. Sanders takes them. And, and he just picks up another foul on the push-off. And that's his third. That's huge. That is huge. I mean, he called it the commentator's curse? I mean, I was literally just talking about how it has, it's so important that he stays out of foul trouble. And I think there, that's a case where referees trying to get something situated between them but that's the case where he's been getting he's, he's been getting to the lane you know so he's, he's gonna try but look at the last possession what what happened ball movement move the ball a little more and i think it'll be more fruitful and we, and we do have to mention we do have to be a little critical i mean i don't want to be monday morning quarterback but 18 seconds left last possession of the game do, do you keep to tie in at two uh, fouls of the I understand why, because every possession is critical. And and Coach Kev just had a conversation with him about fouls. <laughs> like, we can't skip past that. So it's not like he didn't Folks, let him know. What you just realized is why like, Greg Polius is a teacher, and I am not a teacher. Greg is like, listen, you tell a kid something, <laughs> and then he does the complete opposite of what you just told him. It works out that way sometimes. <laughs> South Shore are going to hold for the last shot. JoJo with the switch. JoJo showed he can guard a guard. That's good defense right there, but even better finish by Sincere at the buzzer. And after one half of play in this heavyweight matchup, we have Eagle Academy up 1, 31 to 30 over the Vikings of South Shore. And, folks, you're crazy if you tune into anything else but Sage Media right now. We're going to be with you guys all day long. We'll be back in about seven to eight minutes. Thanks for watching.
and welcome back to Queens College. We promise you it was going to be a good one. 31-30, Eagle Brooklyn. The leading scorers right now you have Asher with eight. Sincere Folk with six, that very acrobatic layup at the end. Those are the leading scorers for South Shore. Ja'Kai Sanders with 11 points. And Johnny Fleming off the bench with six. And JoJo with five. Of course, this is Andre Johnson, owner and creator of Sage Media. And, of course, I'm here with Mr. Polius. Mr. Polius, thoughts? So, I think from before this game even started, we knew it was going to go down to the wire. Yeah. So, the first half is no surprise. Trading blows, trading punches. I think the biggest thing to watch is the foul count on individual players. Sin has two. Ja'Kai has three. Like, these are pivotal players for each team that essentially the driving force behind their success. Yes. No, no, you're, you're absolutely right. And it's all about, you know, Ja'Kai, is, of course, is going to start on the start the game in the second half. You see Guzman is on him. A Angelo's on him right away. And you know these South Shore guards are going to do anything they can to pick up that fourth foul on Mr. Sanders. Absolutely. JoJo for three. Doc gets a long rebound. Brings it back out. Resets. Guarded by Folk. Gets in the paint. Good move right there. <laughs> I like that. And by the young one. <laughs> and you see that after that? Goes straight up to play defense right in Folk's kitchen. And just so you guys know, we are going to have instant replay up. As Angelo, oh, I was about to say, Angelo was a nice floater. But we will have instant replay up in this half, so definitely look out for that. JoJo thought about it again. Manuk sets the screen. Ah. Manuk has to be ready to catch that. He was looking for Ja'Kai to shoot that, but that was a great look inside. And I think Manuk has to be ready for either Ja'Kai to shoot or look for the ball. Yeah, you know, Manuk, Manuk, another one of the top class of 25. He, he has a lot of growing to do. I'm sure he's going to have a, a big summer, and I'm sure we're going to see a much more polished play because the athleticism, the raw talent is absolutely, absolutely there. One, after one year in the system, he'll get it. Kearney for three. And Johnny comes away with the loose ball, and it's stolen. Doc got to be careful there. Folk. From deep, rims in and out. Kearney with the rebound. And Manuk, is fi Manuk fouls him. Is that, so, that Manuk or JoJo? I think that was Manuk. That's South Shore real, really tenacious with that possession on the boards. That is on Manuk, yes, you're right. So Manuk with two fouls. And again, that's only to be expected going against the Vikings, you know. Very physical team. Kevin Kearney with four. Can he make it six? Eagle cheerleaders making noise. It's a lot of missed free throws in this game so far, Greg. Yeah. How do you think the players' legs are? Um, you know, we had, you know, Tuesday's game got canceled, so they had a back-to-back -back Wednesday, Thursday. You think? I mean, I know they're young men, but you think that plays any factor? Uh, I think a little bit, but adrenaline is going to kick in. They're not going to feel it until after the game, I think. That fourth quarter is going to be adrenaline and conditioning. And Johnny has become so adept <laughs> at, at that throw ball off to the defender. He, he's the king of that. <laughs> I'm most of, he, he's good for those at least one a game. Doc gets it out to JoJo. Back to Doc. Directed traffic. Forgot something, young man. Look where the, the South Shore guards are meeting Eagle Academy. Doc for three. Short. That's going to stay Eagle ball off of Kearney. But look where the South Shore guards are meeting Eagle Academy. They're like, eating them five feet from the, like the three-point three line. Court. Johnny's been huge in this game.
Well, that's one thing Eagle Academy is great at. You know, heavyweight matchup is a understatement. Like, both teams can take punches. They waver a bit, but then they get right back to it. Absolutely. That's going to be a moving screen on Hunter. Coach might need an early timeout here. Eagle a little shaky out, out the half. Young sophomore Hunter getting some crucial minutes. Big time. Sincere folk, I've been so impressed with him today. He's been on an absolute attack mode. Guzman on the wing. Eagle goes back into the 2-3 zone. Those hands from, he's a wide receiver, Sincere. Hunter with the rebound, gets it out front to Doc. And Aaron passes. Guzman doing a good job playing safety there to get the interception. Pressuring Kearney right now. Oh, he must have traveled. And he yeah. traveled. That's great defense right there. Yeah, and you see, you just see how important experience is, you know. You can't play exactly the same way you play in the Eagles' nest or it out in South Shore when you come to a championship game. Absolutely. You know, oh, I always make this pass from three-quarters court. No. Team's got a little extra coming. And, of course, the length of South Shore. They got to make the adjustments to these Eagle Academy guards. A lot of turnovers in this game. Chicago getting in the lane. Dropped it. Great look right there. As he set that up for about the foul line extended. Like, Ja'Kai's range of passing has to be one of the best in the in the, in the in New York State. He can make a pass from any which way, any angle. So Sears probably Gordon. looking to attack here. As Eagle always oh, does, switches everything. Kearney from deep. Can't leave. Kevin open. Can't leave like a, a confident Kevin Kearney with eight points. That could be, smell a lot of trouble for Eagle Academy if he gets hot from three. And it gets poked away. It's going to stay Eagle ball. We're going to get that scoreboard fixed for you guys. Want to appreciate the 730 plus watching this live stream right now. That's going to be over the back on JoJo. That, that should be number three on JoJo, no? I think it's second. Oh, that's his first. We're going to have a very interesting fourth quarter, Greg. Kearney, almost. Fleming gets the loose ball. I like it from Kearney, though. He's being very aggressive. That's the, what the Vikings Doc need. Gets for three. Off the side rim. Guzman gets the rebound. Eagle hounded him in the backboard. As Folk gets it to the corner. Elson for three. And he's fouled. That's a bad foul. That's a very bad foul. I actually want to go to the replay on that. Let me chew this up. Could that be a, a let's, let's see the frustration foul. foul at the missing the three? I mean, did Doc clip his, his feet there? It's a tough angle for me to see from up here, not going to lie. Me. Right back here. Yeah, I, I, that, that's, a, that's a questionable one. I don't know if he clipped his feet there, but hey. Asher might pull a little, little Reggie Miller. <laughs> Manuk checks back in.
two and three for the line for Elson. Low scoring game, but that's to be expected against these two heavyweights. Jakai can't finish. Uzma pushing the pace four and five right now. As Jakai gets back on the court. And gets the steal. Could have been a charge on on Sincere there as well. Eddie with only one three-pointer in this game. All I'm saying is that's Eddie's range. I think he needs to look at the basket still. And that's going to be Ja'Kai's four. Is it on Ja'Kai? I or is it on Manoa? Oh, no. Oh, no, it's on JoJo. I guess they got him on a moving screen. A lot of wasted possessions in this third quarter for Eagle Academy. Again, we're getting into winning time here. you got to clean it up. Eddie meet, meeting Sincere. Manuk picks up foam. Sincere, jump stops, drop pass. What a pass. Great find right there for to the cut in Elson. What an, up by three. An absolute dime from Sincere Folk. He knows that these Eagle players are in foul trouble and he is attacking. Seltzer up three. Great find right there, and Ja'Kai returns the favor. It is a battle of some of the two best guards in the PSAL right now, Greg. And Folk averaging seven assists a game on the season, so it's no surprise to see him orchestrating the offense the way he is. Oh, boy. And that's a great find by Guzman to get who's that Brewer up top. With the two-hand flush on the alley? Pretty sure that was Kieran. No. All I'm going to say is, you know, we just had Mr. Cha-Ching here. Watch your head. We're going to go to that replay. I'm going to cue that up. And you got to wonder if the South Shore guards are hooking Ja'Kai, and in response, he's pushing them off. And because he's so strong, it looks worse than what it is. Etienne checking in for Guzman, and he's on Ja'Kai right now. Fleming thought about it, gets it back to Ja'Kai to reset. Look Ja'Kai at where the they're meeting screen. these guards. From deep. Not exactly the possession you would want to see. Kind of a settling, uh, settle for the shot right there. As... Folk goes coast to coast and is essentially putting South Shore on his back right now. Sincere Folk is absolutely taking this game over. Eagle Academy need an answer. 30 seconds left in the third quarter. Beasley, and it's blocked. And that's where the pump fake comes in handy. It's getting loud in here, Greg. The South Shore faithful are feeling it. Sincere thinks he has a mismatch. And at the end of three, it's 42 to 37 South Shore. He only put up six points in the third quarter. That is very eagle-like. I mean, I, I I seen that from the very beginning when they came out. We addressed it. We we're saying the eagle doesn't look strong, and look, you know who looks strong? Let's see this alley oop. So that was Angelo. You see Kevin Kieran. He's calling for it. Meet the neighbors. Shout out to Cha Ching. <laughs> How does Eagle answer back after that rough third quarter? Listen, um, for the constant viewers, y'all know I talk a lot about pedigree. We know South Shore has it. They've, 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 they completed the three-peat, three straight city championships. They've been in the borough championships 
three straight years. They are the defending Borough champions. Eagle, it comes down to Coach Kevin Hamilton, Coach KK. Can you instill in these guys that this is a, the moment you need to step up? Ja'Kai Sanders, Division One player, absolutely. You came here from Bishop Lachlan for this game. You know, we have JoJo just got an offer from Hampton University. You're here. You sat all year and watched so you can compete in this game. This is your moment. Don't let it pass you by. I know I know when the first, second half started, one of the biggest things I talked about was Eagles running through their offense, and I didn't really see that much in the third quarter. Get to your second and third option because that was the one you find the easiest looks. Well, it's tough. I mean, they thrive. This is where Eddie could really come in clutch, but you know he's big shot Ed. There's such emphasis on him with only three points on the day. And sincere folk, just look, he is in absolute control of this game. Ja'Kai is taking his matchup personally. Oh, 100%. Gets it out to Etienne on the wing. That's Kearney up top with JoJo. And it's blocked. Late whistle. Very late whistle right there. And it was after the block. I don't know. Um, are we seeing some, some FIFA type acting on the court right now? <laughs> From the voice of Eagle Academy. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> but you just see, we, me and you talk about, especially in these big games, we talk about fouls. We, we were talking about the, fact, the folks at home probably sick of us talking about fouls because we've been talking about it since the first quarter. But this is where it really comes into play as Kearney misses the first. This is where it comes to play. You see the difference. You see sincere folk. He, Ja'Kai could be on him. Jojo could be on him. I'm taking you off the dribble because I know you're in foul trouble. Kearney, he's going off the dribble. I know you're in foul trouble. It changes the, the, the it just changes how the game is played. And this is why coming back in for Kearney. Kevin Kearney with nine points. Asher is still the leading scorer with 12. South Shore putting on their press. They drop back. Etienne pressure in Sanders. Guy one on one. And he's fouled. I still would like to see more movement on the Eagle offense, not so much iso ball, because that's when they're at their best. Yeah, e Eagles bleeding out right now. They're, they're absolutely bleeding out, and this is something we spoke about at the beginning of the game. I said, yo, Greg, has have we seen Eagle been down in the fourth quarter? Yeah. And I, I don't think we've seen them down in the fourth quarter and them win a game this season yet. Uh, um, the so first this, game of the year, Jefferson closed the gap, but I don't think Yeah, Jefferson they closed the, the gap, but, you know, they, they weren't able to, to get the victory there. So it's a big challenge here for Eagle Academy. Chikai with 13 points. I want to shout out Andre because he's not only commentating, he's also keeping stats on his own, and that is not easy. I'm, I'm producing and running the replay too, Greg. Don't shortchange me, my boy. That was a ticky-tack foul right there. Now back to that. You can't shortchange me. I did not shortchange him. <laughs> I was going to get to it. But yes, he's also running an instant replay, as he's a man of many hats. Did they say that was Manuk's fourth foul? I'm pretty sure Doc is coming into the game for Manuk. I, did, I didn't like that call at all. Because here's my thing. If you're not going to call when Brewer wraps his arm around Ja'Kai, you don't call that. I get it. Good seal right there by Brewer. Can't finish. Jojo with the Big rebound. rebound by Jojo, averaging 18 on the year. Doc resets. Good defense from Etienne. And this is just playoff basketball right here. Look at that grin from Asher Elson. He knows his team is six minutes away from a back-to-back -back Burrow champion. And he's leading the way with 14 for the Vikings. Can Eagle answer? And he just 
JoJo's going to go to line. That foul is on Elson. Biggest lead of the game for the Vikings. Huge free throws coming up here for JoJo. Greg, we are at 900 viewers. Really appreciate not only you guys supporting Sage Media as JoJo hits the first. JoJo's in double figures. Not only supporting Sage Media, but more importantly, supporting our young men out here in the PSAL, putting everything on the line for everyone to see. And Legacy, history, everything is on the line. Who's going to step game. up? Sincere Folk has been the one to really carry the torch right here for South Shore. Is he going to continue? Beasley checking in, and he gets by Beasley, gets in the corner. The Blues mile for three. Jojo with the rebound on the air ball. Here Eagles we go. The pace. You see the Eagle faithful are trying to make this into the nest, trying to will on their team. Jakai calling for the screen from Jojo. And Jojo's going to go, uh, Jakai's going to go to the line. I think Coach Kevin wants to see a little, uh, uh, probably a pass off on that possession in the corner because he had either corner open. So but the problem is with the wingspan of South Shore, maybe – Jakai, like I said, Jakai can see any pass. So if the pass, England, if the passing lane is there, Jakai is going to make it. I just want to say, just think of the just raw athleticism and hand-eye coordination from Jakai. He's going to the lane, the ball gets poked out of his hands, <laughs> and he catches it like he <laughs> doesn't even lose stride. Yeah, strength, balance. Jakai with 14 right now. Jakai with 15. Eagle down two. The crowd is making Queens College into the Eagles' nest. Folk for three. Short. He gets his own rebound. Got to box out. Now Chase is meeting Folk at the half-court line. Asher thought about it. Good closeout by Doc. Asher using tough shot. That's going to be eagle ball. That's a great defensive possession right there. Great defensive possession and great no foul from Doc. Kennedy checking back in for Etienne. And here comes that game. South. Here comes that South Shore press. Now they're dropping back, actually. Unless they're going to try to close out at half court. Yep, that's exactly what they're going to try to do. That was almost a great finish by JoJo. I thought there was contact there. Good. Doc does it again. That rolled off. I don't know about you. If you would go to the replay, Andre, that looked like it rolled off South Shore's leg. You see a Johnny talking to JoJo. Things getting a little heated, but I like Ja'Kai comes right there and says, hey, listen, man, let's keep playing. Let's keep playing. And I love that timeout from Kev. I love the timeout from Kev. This is why. You see a Johnny there. Johnny, high energy, high energy. JoJo, he knows, yo, I know. I missed the layup. I missed the layup. Kev says, yo, come over here. Listen, guys, let's talk, the, talk it out. We have different pieces from last year. Just think about those three players in that conversation. Johnny's been there trying to will them on. JoJo, it's his first time in this moment. Jakai, newcomer as well this year. Dip, a lot of different ingredients in the pot. And I love how Coach Kev sees that and says, yo, guys, this is what we need to do in this situation. We're down to everybody. Relax. Simmer. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, Drake. I need you to chill on the food analogies. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> That's that just that just shows the leadership from Eagle Academy. I mean, they have a bench full of former Division One players, former professional players. Yep. I, was that ball? I, nope. And that's going to be the foul count is three three. Is they going to call that shooting? That's Jeremiah's third. That is going to be a shooting foul. So Asher's going to the line. Free throws have been an issue on both sides this game. It's a super low-scoring affair. 
as he hits the first. And it's it's not that – I'm not that surprised seeing the matchup between the two teams. And also, like, hey, like I said, those two back-to-back games, they, they could, their legs could be feeling it. But this this point total absolutely suits. And it's back to a four-point game. This this point total and this the way this game is going absolutely suits South Shore. That backcourt? Almost. Doc with a little teardrop. They call him a fearless freshman. He need, the fearless freshman needs to calm down a bit if you jump all over the place. Sincere actually doing that right now, trying to calm down the South Shore offense as the Eagle faithful getting into it with the defense chance. Elson for three. Ja'Kai with the rebound. Gets it out to Johnny in the front court. Denied by Elson. What? When we talk about championship winning plays, Asher Elson might have made the play of the year for the Vikings. And he gets gifted with it also getting the possession back. That is a championship play from Asher. And I'm not mad at a Johnny trying to go up strong with it. That's just a great defensive play. Doc with the rebound. Gets it out to Chase. A Johnny for three. Boom! As Eagle goes up by one on the huge three from the senior. Are you kidding me, Mr. Fleming off the bench with nine points? Eagle with the lead. Honestly, I don't know how anybody in this gym is sitting. And that's a that's a that's a bad foul right there by Chase. No need to foul right there. I mean, let's talk about Johnny for a minute. A lot of people would put their head down, man, I just got my dunk blocked. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Absolutely not. Johnny comes down the court, ready to shoot. Short-term memory. Love it. Is this Cameron indoor, Greg? That's what it feels like. Got the Eagle crazies going. Doc, hounding. Folk. Could have got with the push-off. And what Folk a finish. It's a tough finish in traffic. Folk putting the team on his back. And Ja'Kai can't finish the up and under. Kearney gets the rebound. Gets it to Guzman. Just under two and a half to go here in the fourth quarter. Folk. Oh, I thought he was going to pull it. Ja'Kai facing up on Folk. Ten on the shot clock. He wanted to pull that. He did want to pull that. That's a tough shot from Elson. My goodness. That, there was literally nothing Eagle could have done differently on that possession defensively. They did my, everything right. My goodness is correct. Asher Elson putting the backpack on for the Vikings. Under two minutes, who is going to go and take that Brooklyn championship? Chase for three. Rims in and out. Tough shot right there. It's a three-point game. South Shore, the clock on their side. JoJo on Folk doing a good job staying in front. Good defense by JoJo. And that's a great box out by Johnny on Brewer. That's why Johnny's in the game in this moment. He's making all the winning plays. And Ja'Kai is fouled. All right, so I got a lot of replays to catch up on, Craig. So we're going to start. We're going to start with the block. I mean, look at Asher. Oh, 
And he had every intention the entire time down the court. I'm not going to let this happen. And this next one. You get your shot blocked, but I stay ready. As Johnny Fleming. As Shakai hits the first. Shakai was 16 on the day. Sanders hitting two huge free throws right there. One point game. With about a minute to go. South Shore pulling it back. No fouls right here. It's key for Eagle. Pick, as Folk picks up his dribble, Doc with the brew with the mismatch, and that's going to be a timeout South Shore as they were struggling right there. They're going to come back with 14 on the, on the shot clock, 50 seconds left in the game. Mr. A Andre, mm -hmm. what do you think South Shore is looking to come uh, do out of this timeout? Out of this timeout? I think you got sincere folk. It's, I think you got to put sincere folk and Asher Elston in the action. Put them in the action. Have them have that pick and roll. Since sincere folk has been an absolute magician today. Put him with the ball, with the action, and he'll make the best decision. And Asher, we saw from that shot that I'm trying to get queued up here. Asher was is putting shot. the back that, pack on. That's, that's a, I, I'm, I'm going to go out here and say it. That's a pro shot. Has the mismatch. Gets the ball. Great closeout right there. Hand in his face and everything. Just has the touch to hit the basket. It's just it's just tremendous stuff from all these athletes. I mean, let's not get wrapped up in we're not watching LeBron James and Steph Curry out here. These are young men from our communities in front of a thousand plus people on the live. Got to be 400, 500 people in this building, and they are putting everything on the line for their schools. Like, I, I wish you guys out there viewing could feel the atmosphere in this gym. It's so tense. You call the foul? And that's going to be a foul on Manook. That's, that's, it, it, that's huge because he just checked in, and now he has to check back out. He fouled out on an inbounds play. I mean, that's going to pull Kep's hair out. Right, Manuk, and Manuk. that's free throws. Wow. Manuk fouls out. I didn't see the play, so I can't call. I don't know if you can queue up the replay. But I'm not sure what he what he did to get that foul call, and that's a tough way to go out. Guzman misses the first. Going to keep it a one-possession game, even if he makes it. So I'm going to stay here. I have to, I have to replay queued up, but we're going to stay here for this crucial free throw. Probably the biggest free throw of, his, of Guzman's career right now. And he misses both as Ja'Kai gets the rebound. And Kev says, I trust you. We're not calling a timeout. Let's go, Mr. Sanders. Gets it to JoJo. Timeout. Now he calls a timeout just to make sure the offense is flowing freely and not you know, panicking. So I'm looking at so do you put do you put Eddie in the game in Absolutely. This? You have to put Eddie in the game. At least on offense. If you want to do it uh the offense defense kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, because it, it, it seems like right now it seems like Ja'Kai Sanders is absolutely here for this moment. As Johnny Fleming, Lord of Mercy, we know as Johnny stay ready. And JoJo's been having an excellent game. So let's just recap. JoJo with seven points. Ja'Kai, the leading scorer with 17 points on the day. As Johnny Fleming, the MVP for Eagle, honestly, with nine points off the bench, three three-pointers. Asher Elson with 17. So him and Ja'Kai both with 17 points. Sincere Folk I wish we had the assist numbers. He's at 10. I mean, Kevin Kearney at 9. I mean, 
I think every player I mentioned, I'm going to go on a limb. Division one caliber players. I, I I could agree with that. So no Eddie, it's Chase Beasley, Amir Dockery, Jakai Sanders, JoJo, and Ajani. What do we have written up for Eagle Academy? Jakai at the top of the key, guarded by Guzman. Guzman cuts him off. Doc gets in the paint, and it's going to stay Eagle ball. Doc, that, wh whoever hit that for South Carolina, that's great defense, because Doc was going to have a very easy look at the bucket. Absolutely. And there, there he is. And the crowd loving that substitution right there. Folks, there's 21 seconds on the clock. Eight seconds on the shot clock. And Eagle gets the offensive rebound. Ten seconds left. It is coming down to this. That is the biggest offensive rebound of the entire season for Eagle Academy. I mean, I saw a lot of different things there. I mean, let's let, let, let's just go to the to the replay, honestly. I saw a lot of different things there. I thought, you know, if Eddie was you know, if Eddie was a little more warmed up in the game, he had that pump fake. Asher was in the air, could have drawn a foul very easily yeah, there. That's true. You know, Johnny Fleming didn't didn't take the shot. I you know, also think the South Shore Bigs closed out relatively well on that possession. So we can look at Eddie getting the inbound right there. Well, I'm about to put it on the screen. And you see Eddie getting the rebound and pass it off. See, that's a great closeout because Johnny. While he may have been open, the length of a carry on that wing makes it a very tough shot. And that rebound from JoJo. I mean, you said it yourself. He averages 18 rebounds on the year. That could be the biggest rebound of his career. I mean, hey, all I'm going to say is Eagle Academy last possession of the game. Where have I seen this script before, Mr. Polius? <laughs> Are we going to recreate some magic here? They have. The guy gets to the paint, stops and pops, and he can't hit. He steps out, and it's going to stay Eagle Ball with four seconds left. Crucial mistake by Brewer stepping out of bounds. And Jakai's still down. Did he hit his head on that? Notice on the inbound, they had Elson on Eddie. They do not want Eddie to get that shot off. Here we go, folks. Four seconds left. This is what left. it's about right here. Oh, my God! Oh, my goodness! Oh my goodness! Hey! Buzzer beater! Hook shot three pointer! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Wow! Did that really just happen? What is there left? Did that just happen? What is left to say, Jakai? Sanders with the miracle shot to give Eagle Academy the Brooklyn Borough Championship. Let's look at the replay right here as we try to figure it out. A little loose ball, can't find it, and Ja'Kai gets it. And heaves up a prayer one-handed. And banks it home. Both teams are requested to go back to their benches. We're going to try to figure out what's going on. But as of right now, what we know, Ja'Kai Sanders potentially just gave Eagle the Brooklyn Borough Championship. And, and on top of that, the, one, the number one overall seed in the city. 
There's .3 seconds on the clock. There's .3 seconds on the clock. Eagle absolutely cannot foul. And they got to go full court, right? Uh, um, they call the, I guess they technically call the timeout. So do they go to half court? I don't know where they go because I'm still in shock. I am still in shock. And you see the tears, the emotions from both teams. Asher Elson can't believe it. He's put everything on the line in this game. Ja'Kai Sanders, this is what he came to Eagle Academy for. This right here, for these moments like this. And that puts him at 20 points for the game. There is point three seconds. There's point three seconds left on the clock. Point three. Folks, we're just trying to get everything in order. So they do have to go full court. Point three seconds left. They got it. Guzman's got to heave it. No way he got it off in time. Not count. At Eagle Academy are your Brooklyn Borough champions on the miracle shot by the senior Ja'Kai Sanders. Folks, we're going to cut it early just so we can get the next stream ready. Please. Stay tuned. It is the Manhattan Championship between Murray Burcham and Thurgood Marshall. I mean, how do you follow that up, Greg? That's, that's tough. That's tough. Everything about that. All right. And that's, this is Andre Johnson, of course, with my partner, Greg Polius. Thank you for supporting all of our young men here. Make sure you stay tuned because coming right up is Murray Burcham versus Thurgood Marshall.